I'm truly blessed. Thank you very, very much, everybody, for coming out tonight. This is a rather special night for me because this is the first time ever that I've done a night of my own music. So uh, it's all rather special. I spent a lot of years playing covers, but I thought it's about time, even though I'm sort of getting on there, that uh, never too late, you know what I mean? Keep chasing your dreams. And for those of you who are uh, watching us on Facebook, thank you for tuning in. Please let us know where you're watching us from. That's uh, really, really, really important, okay? So uh, the whole evening tonight is going to be a combination of uh, tracks from my album, Invitation to a Dream, which... Uh, I've got to say, it's on sale on the back table there. And, um, and also I'll be playing a couple of tracks from the, the wrestling side of my musical career in a, a little bit later on. But let's do this. going to have a musical career in 1984 is when I wrote that and it was originally designed to be the opening of my live show which never happened until tonight so it's the first time that I've actually been able to play that in what 35 years crazy
Okay, so we're going to the song which I hoped would be a single release from the album, but um, we could never get a label to do it until we did it now. So hopefully this one will resonate with you somewhat. This is called Drop Me a Line. music for a reason so for some reason i don't know what happened there <laughs> but um i don't need it for a while so i'll come back to it later yeah moving on when i did the uh, the title track for the album invitation to a dream back in germany i was incredibly blessed that while i was recording it one of the owners of the studio heard it and he said len can i play saxophone on that and i said 
Absolutely, why not? So consequently, um, after a couple of wonderful takes, we did a composite track, and that's what ended up on the title. So to do this track live, I needed a phenomenal saxophone player. And uh, courtesy of Kulak's Woodshed, which is where we are tonight, the most amazing place on the planet, as far as I'm concerned. I love it. I, I saw a band called Fief and the Folkies. And uh, one of the members of that band was the phenomenal Frankie Mooney. Frankie Mooney, join me on stage, please. Where are you? There we go. So Frankie and I are going to do a little version of Invitation to a Dream. a dream reality and reality a dream. The dreamer runs an eternal race chasing crystal images composed of fragile ideals that shatter when touched. Reality becomes nothing more than a mirrored image reflected from our dreams. A peaceful soul has the sweetest dreams to relax, maybe to sleep, to sleep, a chance to dream.
and gentlemen, Frankie Rooney, let's hear that. Just so you know, the voice at the beginning of that was a voiceover artist we were using in Germany at the time. His name was Heiner Heusinger, most amazing voice. And I thought, well, he's, he gave the, the perfect sort of psychiatrist feel that I wanted for that. Okay, picture the scene. A recording studio, Friday afternoon, 1993, we get a phone call. It's a record company in Berlin. They're saying they're putting together a Save the Planet album. Do you have any songs? Well, of course we do. We didn't, but of course we do. Um, so consequently, on the way home, I started um, writing this, uh, this gem of an idea that we were supposed to deliver by Courier on Monday morning. Then the following day, I got uh, the bass player of the band I was playing, Razzle Dazzle at the time, Rolf Kruger. He came in on the Saturday and we finished it off. On the Sunday, we got the band in, we recorded it, we mixed it, we mixed it, mixed it, mixed it, and then we couriered it off to Berlin on Monday morning. It never got chosen for the album, but it's still a great song, and that's what I'm going to do right now. And it's very relevant with everything that's going on right now, so please listen to the words. This is Who'll Be There to Cry.
Thank you. Let me adjust this microphone a little bit. It's uh, getting away from me, as they say. Oh, right. Staying with the, uh, the themes, as it were, uh, it's quite ironic in a way that this is happening now in the 50th anniversary of the Apollo moon landing because this was my dedication to the Apollo 11 mission, and it's called Moonshot. Thank you. 
You had the crack in that one, I'll tell you. That's a little bit of lubrication, then we're going to have some fun. Right. Um, some of you may or may not know my history with regards to professional wrestling and the fact that I own my own company, Real Quality Wrestling, from the UK. Um, and I wrote a lot of um, intro themes and wrestlers' walk-ups and all sorts of stuff. And uh, This one, I'm going to definitely give a shout-out because uh, our good friend Andy Simmons was the, was <laughs> was the uh, receiving end of this one. He came up to me in 2005 when I was starting working with the wrestling and he did one or two of my tracks, and he said, Lane, could you do me an entrance theme? I said, sure, absolutely. So that's exactly what I did, and this one became a little bit of a, an anthem, funnily enough. Just make sure I'm in tune. I think I am. That'll do. Okay. <laughs> All right, so without further ado, this is Loud and Proud. takes a little bit of getting used to, but uh, it's, it's a good fun track, and the message in it is pretty clear, and it's like everything else. I always say, you know, never be bashful, never be afraid. Just let them know you're here, guys. Come on, you know? So, all right, a couple of my friends uh, in Cardiff, who I haven't seen for, I don't know, 30-odd years now, um, they were a band called Private Sector, and they did a song called The Loving Kind, which I released on my little record label that I did back there, and... Um, 
I don't know, I just love the song so much that I said, okay, when I do an album of my own, oh, hello, Richard, I didn't see you down there. <laughs> so when I do an album of my own, I was going to actually do this one as well. So this is called The Loving Kind. with um, friends who are amazing composers. In 1993, um, <laughs> I was working with uh, a gentleman in, uh, from Scotland in Germany named Eddie McGrogan. Now, Eddie is still going strong, and he has a project over there called 24 Hours, which is 24 with O-U-R-S. They're on Facebook. Check them out. Their songs are phenomenal. But I produced an album with him, uh, and this one song in particular, I don't know, it was the first one I arranged for him. I got no idea, but uh, I just fell in love with it. This is called Put Out the Light. Speak 
to me your sympathy I hear every word you say I don't need your need for me I turn now and move away I can feel your sympathy Reaching now to this floor I don't need your need for me Turn now across the door Don't want to spend another night Alone Gotta keep from hanging On my telephone And if I don't get Don't get some sleep mic back I forgot to move my pedals back so that sort of uh, <coughs> made me stretch a bit there but there you go All right. 
Um, so I was going to switch over to the Les Paul again, but seeing as that died, I think I'll just stay with this one. I'll put it on a clean setting. Well, thank you, Tom. I've got to be fair, this is... Um, I've been looking forward to this and dreading it at the same time, if you know what I mean. But I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing right now, so hopefully I'm not letting anybody down right now. So it's really cool. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, back to my friends from private sector. Um, I said there's only three songs for other, from other people that I'm doing tonight, but it's only because I love these so much. This one song, um, they presented to me when they first came into my studio and they recorded it somewhere else, and I just, just fell in love with it. It's called Night Society. side of the room I watch your legs as they cross the floor this love at a distance well it isn't love at all it's like trying to dance with your back against the wall not society it's a lover's paradise not society it's a lonely life not society it's a lover's paradise Dancing partner in a grip so tight But they're not listening To them the way is clear well, All I clear is here It must hold them as dear Night society It's a lover's paradise Night society It's a lonely life Night society It's a lover's paradise
So at this point, I would like to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, who you can probably tell. Um, there's a gentleman called James over in the UK, Power Grip Sports, and they've gr very graciously come on board and helped me to do this tonight. So I can tell you, when it comes to their equipment and their clothing and everything, the quality is superb. So uh, just thought I'd give them a shout out. Thanks, James. Appreciate it. Back over this side. Okay, so um, creation for me is always a fun experience. And when I wrote this next song, I think I'm on the right one. Yes, I am. When I wrote this next song, um, I wanted to find out how a 5-4 would sound. I'd never thought about it, never tried it, because I was always four to the floor and all that sort of stuff, and the occasional 6-8 or occasional waltz and bit of shuffle. But, um, you know, I thought, okay, let's give a 5-4 a shout. And consequently, this song came out of it. This is Sunset.
Thank you. All right, so it's surprising how quick this is all going. It's, it seems to be flying by, which gives me a clue because the next one is called Firebird. Basically, um, I've always been a, a major admirer of the, the Native American history and the Native American legends. And um, Mike Clark at the back there will appreciate the fact that this was originally called a Thunderbird. So uh, everybody who knows my love of Jerry Anderson will know where the word Thunderbird comes from. <coughs> but it was called a Thunderbird, but they also called it a Firebird. Before I switch back to the guitar on the sort of the last rock section, as it were, um, what you're hearing tonight, I'm actually playing with myself because all of the backing tracks, apart from a few guest musicians, are all me, all the backing vocals and everything. So I don't feel like I'm cheating playing the backing tracks. I just can't clone myself. You know what I mean? Exactly. So 
We are now coming back to the wrestling world. And I told this gentleman earlier on that I would give him a, give him a shout out, and he's, I'm going to. There's a, there was a wrestler when I started with Real Quality Wrestling called J.P. Monroe. And a uh, very good friend of mine, Jamie. And um, great wrestler, great character, wonderful on camera. And I thought, okay, how can I work out a, a theme for him? So uh, basically, you know, when it, when it comes to writing themes for wrestlers, normally the wrestler themselves tells you the story if they're fast and flyy or if they're big and bulky and whatever. But, you know, JP being well, what he is, he was quite generic. So then you say, what's your catchphrase? And he said, oh, I'm gooder than you. And I thought, okay, that's it. it, written it it's written itself. So <laughs> Consequently, so Jamie, here you go, dear boy. The first time you've ever seen this live, I'm sure. This is gooder than you.
I'm just so you know, I've never played these live before, so it's a real new experience for me. Uh, we've only got a couple to go. Uh, the next one, um, I've always believed that I want to be there for people when they need me. And uh, from those words, that song, Everybody Needs a Hero, came to light. So that's what's next. <laughs>
Quick little check here because I think we've got something gone slightly awry, a little bit, just a little bit. But unfortunately, it's brought us to the last song, which is nuts. Where's the time gone? Um, what I will do before we get there is um, most of the songs you've heard tonight have come from the album Invitation to a Dream, which is the launch that I'm actually doing. That's why I'm doing this tonight. And um, we've got them on sale at the back and ARACrecordings.com, A-R-A-C, which just so you know, stands for all races, all creeds. That's my belief. Um, ARACrecordings.com, you can get the downloads from there. And of course, it's everywhere else, Apple and Spotify and whatever. So, uh, and also two of the songs, um, Loud and Proud and Good of the New, are from the other album I've released, which is RQW, Real Quality Wrestling, my company, The Music. And that, again, is available at ARAC Recordings and all uh, downloadable places. So uh, the last song is one that I wrote. For those of you who may be or may not be familiar with British history, um, you, will, you will know in 1983, um, Argentina invaded the Falkland Islands. <laughs> and um, our task force was given the job of freeing it because it was under British control. Uh, now, it happened, and we lost... Um, quite a few of our soldiers in that case, particularly when the one ship that had just arrived in port got bombed and the soldiers were still on board. They never got a chance to go away. But when the task force returned back at Portsmouth Harbour, um, I heard the soldiers singing. They were actually singing stuff as they were coming off the boats. And one guy said, yeah, that's their victory song. And I thought, okay. So victory songs was born. I'm dedicating this to every single person who serves. Thank you very much for your service. Um, I'm Royal Air Force, although I never saw action. I was uh, Royal Air Force in the UK during peacetime. Um, regardless of what happens politically, you have the most utmost respect and love from me personally, and I know from so many other people. So thank you for your service. Okay, thank you everybody for coming out. And... Uh, Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'm hoping that we got some people from different lands watching in, because I know there's a few from Europe watching in, and one from Japan, hopefully. So fingers crossed on that one. And, um, yeah, hopefully this won't be the last time I do this, but it was definitely 
a wonderful first for me. So thank you, everybody, for making it so special. This is Victory Songs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Once again, thank you so much for coming out. And once again, I would like to thank Kulak's Woodshed for letting me do that. That's Paul Kulak in the back. The guy for me is a legend. What he set up here is just absolutely phenomenal. So many musicians come in here and say, I never knew this place existed. Well, you do now, all right? Check it out. It's been here over 20 years supporting independent music, and it is a godsend to independent musicians. So please, Monday nights they do an open mic. Every other Tuesday they do what they call the Two for Tuesday with our friend Jimmy down the side here. Uh, and basically, the, the, the crew are just phenomenal. Dylan on camera tonight, so say thanks to Dylan. We got Brent in the back room doing the, the live mix and the Pro Tools recording. And my girl Jasmine running in front of house. Well done, Jasmine. And I'd like to thank my son Tom for uh, providing another camera service throughout the whole show. So thank you once again. Have a safe journey home. And uh, I'll see you next time. Good night.